About a thousand people are expected to gather outside the World War I Museum this morning for our city's biggest Memorial Day ceremony. Sloan Heller is there live with a preview this morning. And Sloan, you've been talking to some folks this morning. Sounds like a pretty big event. It is absolutely. Good morning, Chris. Uh, you know, there are several different ways that you can pay tribute, whether it's a family member, a friend, uh, or the thousands of people who served and are no longer with us today. And a lot of the events are taking place right here at Liberty Memorial. Of course, there's the big ceremony that starts at 930 this morning. And again, as you mentioned, uh, every year we tend to see anywhere from 1,000 to 1,500 people. I know a lot of years that I've been out here, we've actually unfortunately hit some rain, but this year, of course, it's looking uh, like a fabulous, gorgeous, sunny day, and so we could even see bigger crowds today. Uh, today is also going to be one of the first times that we're hearing from Kansas City's new mayor, Sly James. Uh, Congressman, former Congressman, rather, Ike Skelton, is going to be giving the keynote address. And while you're out here today, uh, this is something that's been going on for several years now. Uh, this right here is called the Walk of Honor Bricks. There are now 7,000 bricks out here. Uh, friends or families can buy one of these bricks. They're different sizes, of course, to pay tribute to somebody who served. And again, this is something that's just incredible, so unique about what we have out here at Liberty Memorial. The other thing that we've been showing you this morning, I don't know if, uh, Ron, you can pan over this way. Uh, this right here is a traveling exhibit. It's called the National World War I Museum Traveling Exhibit. You can see it's an 18-wheel truck. And inside, it's kind of a snapshot, just kind of a small smaller version of what you find inside the main museum. Today is the last day you can check it out. It's totally free. And from here on out, it's going to be going to 75 cities across the country. So it's really cool because a lot of people in other cities across the country don't know what we have here. And so this is going to be an opportunity to kind of give uh, the National World War I Museum here in Kansas City some exposure in other parts of the country. Uh, there's also a photo exhibit that's here today as well as a vehicle display. So lots of things going on. Again, the ceremony here starting at 930, but there's stuff to do all the way up until five o'clock this afternoon. Come on out, check it out, bring your friends and family. Again, we are looking at a very gorgeous day weather-wise and a great way to pay tribute again to those who served and are no longer with us today. We're live this morning at Liberty Memorial. Sloan Heller, NBC Action News today.